Hello my lovelies and welcome to Peachy. Today's video is going to be about one of my favorite makeup products. In fact, almost my favorite alongside bronzer, which is liquid lipsticks. I have many of them. I would say it's, it's probably a psychological problem already and I will go see somebody, but having a lot of liquid lipsticks is not necessarily a disadvantage because guys, I don't know if you've seen but a lot of the big channels have in the past done these whole face using only liquid lipstick challenges. And everybody was actually really surprised by how well it turned out, how easy it was. And today I want to show you five ways how you can use liquid lipstick in not the traditional way for just lipstick, but in other ways that is really, really useful, that works well, uh, that is long lasting and that's just simply genius. So if you want to see how and where and why, you should stay tuned right now. Number one of the unusual and yet genius ways to use liquid lipstick is to use it as blush. Now, why would you want to do that? Two reasons. First of all, sometimes you just want to have the like quite monochromatic look. You want to have exactly the same color on the lips as on the cheeks, but you don't want to buy uh, a million blushes. And that's why you could just use your liquid lipstick directly, or you just forgot your blush and you need a quick solution. Here is what you can do. Uh, here I'm using Kylie Cosmetics in the color uh, Kristen, which is a beautiful strawberry red. And I'm just placing a little bit on my hand here. A little bit like that. I distribute it like so because we don't want it to be patchy that's why we need to make sure it really is just a little, like very subtle here distributed on the hand. Then we take our beauty blender, take some of the product. Now it would be great if I had a mirror but I'm just gonna place it like this. I don't know if you can really see it well because the camera always eats up a lot of light but I'm telling you it is super subtle and also, it blends really well because of the method we have used. This is without, this is with blush. I'm gonna do it for the other, the other side. Again, I have I've added a little bit more product. I take it on the brush and very gently dab it on here. It's crazy, you wouldn't imagine that it goes on so, so nicely and without being patchy. And it's still quite intense, so I personally think it's super beautiful. And if you are somebody who has way too many liquid lipsticks, like myself, then you have obviously the same amount of blush shade suddenly. All right, I did the other side now, and as you can see, it's super fresh, the color is gorgeous. Um, this is obviously a great idea also when you wanna go swimming because liquid lipstick does stay on, it is waterproof, it does not get uh, swiped away, wiped away rather. Uh, really easily. So this is a great way I think that people don't think of. Only thing is you really got to make sure you take on a minimal amount of product to not make it patchy. For number two we have uh, liquid lipstick, using liquid lipstick as kind of a bronzer or a contour. If you forgot your bronzer or your contouring kit, but you have like a nice warm shade like this one, which is Kylie Cosmetics Exposed, you can do pretty much the same principle as with the blush. You put a little bit on your, on your hand, distribute it slightly and distribute it even more with your finger. We really want to make sure we have only a little bit of product. Take some product on the beauty blender and then go in here where the contour goes, dab it on. And like with, with a blush, it is something that is not gonna go away when you go swimming or really do whatever, do sports, because you know, liquid lipstick just stays. And it's just a matter of having the right color, really. The same principle you can use if you wanna put a little bit in the crease. Uh, again, I'm taking that same warm color. I'm anyways a fan of using the same color for my crease as I use for my bronzing and, and contouring. Here we can take the other side, we dab it in slightly and then just add it a bit to the crease. And you can take a crazy color as well. You can take a nice pink. I think it's just super, super natural looking, super beautiful. And like I said, I love how it just stays. This is without, this is with. Now I'm gonna do it on the other side. And you can really control the intensity you want this to have. So that is a bronzer and blush done only with liquid lipstick. Um, now we're going to move over to a lips. 
Number three of my unusual ways how to use liquid lipstick is uh, to use it as lip contour. So we imagine a scenario, you have this new liquid lipstick in a really light color, you wanna use it, but you don't have the right lip pencil. Um, you might take a liquid lipstick in a darker color um, and outline your lips with that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do that. I have here two Kylie Cosmetics shades that are uh, relatively from the same color family. One is called Angel, one is called High Maintenance. High Maintenance is a super bright, um, rosy pink and Angel is, is like a darker, darker kind of nudie pink. And I'm gonna use Angel, which on my lips, uh, with my skin tone at least, becomes very dark. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. And I have a little, um, a little, what, what, what do you call this in English? Brush, that's, that's it, brush. I have a little brush here. I dab into the into Angel and with that I line my lips. So I've lined them with Angel. Now I'm gonna take High Maintenance, the lighter color. I'm gonna put them next to it here. And I'm gonna use my usual way of doing my lips. I actually have done another video where I show how to really overline your lips effectively so that it looks natural. I'm gonna link it here. Um, and with that same method, I'm gonna use the lighter color and pretty much um, do the rest of the lip. So now I have both colors on and you can still see that um, there is still a lip contour visible. Liquid lipsticks, even though they are quite um, full coverage, when you just apply a small amount, uh, a little bit of the product below is gonna shine through. So you can have that illusion of a lip contour easily. For number four of my genius ways how to use liquid lipstick other than on the lips, we have uh, the eyebrow method that you can use. Same procedure, here I'm taking a color called True Brown K by Kali Cosmetics, um, which is this dark brown, uh, which I take for when I'm in goth mode, you know, for the lips. And I basically take it, same procedure, I put it somewhere on my hand where there's still space, only need a tiny tiny bit um, again dab it out a little bit make the color less intense and then I take this angled brush so this is going to be so long lasting guys I don't know if you know the product a one wonder brow they also have this gel that lasts for for kind of days because it's not uh, it doesn't dissolve with water and this is pretty much the same concept really because the liquid lipstick is gonna dry on the eyebrows and then it's gonna stay there for quite some time and voila we have the brows already yeah if you happen to have a dark liquid lipstick then definitely try that and see how it works for you i think it's great it um it's gonna survive all sorts of gym sessions uh, swimming pool sessions, whatever you do. So this is another great trick. And last but not least, as number five, you can of course also use liquid lipstick as eyeliner and it works really well, especially when you wanna have a really cool, vibrant color. Uh, for example, I have this one here called Junebug, which is a kind of purple violet. And the way you can do it is put again a little bit on your hand wherever you find space after all this extravaganza here you don't have to spread that one out so much literally just dip your brush in dip in here June back a little bit and then line your eyes here it's important you have a good brush but you can create such cool looks like when you have a cool vibrant liquid lipstick shade and you know the stuff like i said it dries it stays on look i think that's so cool that is so cool you can also blend out this stuff i know why it seems scary because it's a lip product but at the end of the day the features that liquid lipstick has to dry completely and then not smudge they're just so valuable also for other areas of the face like the eyes the eyebrows the contour whatever especially in summer so i really think it's it's smart to use it um, also in other ways and not just for a makeup challenge but in real life 
because everybody, like I said, was actually of the makeup gurus who tried uh, doing their whole face using only liquid lipstick. They were astonished by how well it worked, how well it blended. Um, so yeah, these are the eyes. Um, this is my liquid lipstick eyeliner. I'm actually, as beauty gurus like to say, I'm loving for it. You know, that's why it's worth sometimes buying crazy colors of liquid lipstick like blue because you just have so many ways you can use it. All right, my cuties, that was it for me today. I really hope you found this video interesting. Um, if you have a lot of liquid lipsticks, you should definitely try out some of the things. I think they're gonna work super well. Uh, maybe it takes a little bit of practice at first because you really gotta make sure you don't take enough, not too much product for it to work. But if you have uh, nailed it, then it's going to be glorious. Also guys, definitely let me know in the comment section if you would use liquid lipstick on anything else but your lips. That would really interest me. And otherwise, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful uh, Sunday and we're gonna see each other next week. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Goodbye, I love you very much.